If you have multiple Google accounts, like a personal Gmail, a work Gmail, or maybe you share your device with a roommate or children, you have several options for logging in to these multiple accounts. When you go to google.com, you will notice you have two profile pictures. If you left click on the bottom profile picture, you'll see this option to add an account. It would make sense that this is where you should add an account. However, I do not suggest adding your accounts this way. When you do this option, you will end up mixing your favorites together, your open tabs, your Chrome extensions stay the same, your themes. Um, I've seen passwords shared between accounts that way, which can be quite scary if you're especially with a roommate or something. Um, also, people will sometimes tend to get the Google Drives confused because they're opening up a file and they're actually logged into the wrong account or saving it into the wrong account. So if you are using this option, I would suggest signing out of all those accounts, removing them from Google, and then starting fresh. Once you start fresh, you log in with that first account. And once you're logged in, you will click now on the top profile picture. And you'll notice here I have multiple accounts here. So if I go ahead and I click on my work one, notice it opened up a new browser window. So I'm gonna click back up here on that top icon and I'm gonna switch back to my personal. I'm gonna use this little um, minimize up here so you can see all it did was open up a second browser window. You can see my work one in the back and my personal one here. Notice the themes are different. My work one is the beach theme because I like to pretend I'm at the beach while I'm working. My home one, personal, is pink, so it's easy for me to differentiate between which ones I'm in right there. Notice the open tabs are different. This one is like my social media, a trip I was planning. My work one has work tabs that are open. My favorites bars are completely different. My extensions are different on these both. And all it is is opening up a second browser window, so I can quickly just click on that top profile picture and again switch back to my other account. I also can come down to the bottom and click in between here to switch back and forth between them as well. So the option on how you do that is you click on that left top profile picture, left click on it, you would scroll to the bottom, yours wouldn't be as long because you don't have this many accounts on there, and you click on add, a window pops up, you'll click on sign in, you would put your email address in here, click next, follow the prompts, password, and then you will notice once you have done that, when you left click on that top profile picture, you'll see that that account has been added. If you want to see all the accounts you have in a different way and edit them, you can also, when you click on that, click the little setting cog right here, and this will show you all the accounts you have. You can click on those three dots and edit the account from here, or you can delete it if you want it removed from your profile. Maybe you had a friend over using your computer for the weekend and now you're ready to delete that and move it off of your computer. So again, if you are using the bottom option, the first one I talked about, I would remove all, sign out and remove all those accounts and start fresh. You won't lose your favorites, Google saves all of that, but um, if you're worried about that, you can export them first, you know, just in case, but definitely I would suggest using option two of logging in this way to keep your accounts separate and quickly switch back and forth between accounts.